I've stabbed my eyeball so many times trying to get that to work. Oh. Welcome back everyone. In today's video is going to be a new what will I buy it. This is my series where I talk over new makeup releases, talk about what has interested me, talk about what has not so much interested me. I feel like this week is going to be a pretty short one because I did just film one with my friend Anielka Nikvis. I went down to Austin, Texas to visit her. I was there for a week, so we did some filming together. I have a get ready with us on my channel. Also a get ready with me using her makeup bag. And then we did do new makeup releases for her channel. So I will have all of that linked down below, but I had wanted to film another new makeup releases while I was there. I just didn't feel like there was like enough to talk about. Honestly, I still feel like this is gonna be a pretty short one. I have some PR in front of me that I will share as well. And also a uh, fail. A bit of a makeup thing. All right, so one thing that we did touch on in her video, but I wanted to share again that I'm very excited. And I'm sad because they have been out for delivery all day i did just finish doing a get ready with me using all the products that i bought during the sephora sale because i made two trips two trips uh for the sephora sale so i will link all of my makeup of course in the description box they'll also be in the shopping button here on youtube uh but i was really hoping to get the new bk beauty and nikki larose brush set because i was planning to use the brushes but they are it's almost five o'clock and they're still out for delivery right now and i was like but we'll just have to do another one and use these brushes because when I saw that they were doing a collab, I was so excited. I love BK Beauty. I love their brushes. Uh, one of my favorites that I use today for powder, this one is the 105. I think that it's so fabulous. So I'm already a big fan of them. And then I was able to meet Nikki LaRose when I went to a YouTube event in LA last month. And she was so kind, so sweet, so beautiful. She was actually, we had like little breakout sessions and she was the like the one in charge of the breakout session that I was with. So we were like watching her videos and she was giving us like tips and ideas and we could brainstorm with her and you know, have ideas for like Black Friday and the upcoming holiday season. And I was just so excited to be around her. And then when this collab was announced, I was instantly like, yes, like this is one, if I wasn't on the BK Beauty PR list and getting this sent to me, I would have bought it myself. This one retails for $180 and it is a brush set. So it includes the ultimate angle, ultimate smudger, Precision Pro Blender, Petite Precision Multitasker, <laughs> Precision Medium Powder, the Pro Concealer, and also the Multi Pro Face. And then I believe it does also come with the uh, makeup bag. And Nikki is also a professional makeup artist, as is Lisa J, who started BK Beauty. I think the brushes look beautiful. I think the aesthetic of them looks so beautiful. And as soon as I get the, the notification that they've been delivered, I'm gonna run down to grab them, and I'm so excited to use them. So I'll have a get ready with me coming soon. I do have a non-affiliate code with BK Beauty and that is Samantha10. It will get you 10% off your order. Of course, like I said, everything will be linked below. This is the first Will I Buy It that I filmed in this space. Hmm, maybe it's like the first or second, but I forgot to scoot over. So let me, no, I remember that I did scoot over because I smacked my knee onto the desk. <laughs> I do remember that. Now. So next up, I want to talk about Carly Bible's new brand because we touched on it in Angie's video, but all we had seen was that she was coming out with her brand. So we didn't have any more information. We didn't have any product photos or anything like that. We kind of gave our guesses of what we thought was coming. We said maybe either an eyeshadow palette, maybe a lip collection. Both of us were kind of along the same lines of we didn't think it would be like a full like makeup collection and I was thinking it would be more color cosmetics versus something like, you know, foundation or concealer or something like that. But I was a little bit surprised that she's coming out with quite a few products. So the first collection uh, under the Beauty Bible is the OG palette. This is an 18 color eyeshadow palette for $39. There's six matte velvet lipsticks for $20, seven matte lip liners for 16. The magic eyeliner is 22. There's lip glosses that are $18 each and also highlighters for $19. There will be a PR box with the full collection with limited, uh, limited quantities. And this should already be available by the time this video goes up. So I was just slightly surprised to see it like I was thinking maybe like one eyeshadow palette and maybe some lippies. So to have the highlights thrown in there as well, I was like, oh, okay, like she's coming out quite a bit, quite a bit of colors um, and the different like lip products as well, the lip liners. I'll say the eyeshadow palette to me doesn't necessarily blow me away. I get it for Carly. I was saying in Angie's video that Carly Bible was the first beauty YouTuber that I ever started watching. Uh, and she's someone who really inspired me to start my own channel. She's also someone that I really learned a lot 
uh, about makeup from. Um, and especially over the years, she's someone who I've kept watching because we have really similar makeup styles. Like she definitely does a lot more neutral looks and all of that. And that's someone who, when I watch her videos, I think like I can recreate her looks and I don't think that about everybody. And you know, there's a lot of channels that I don't watch as much anymore because I'm just like, I either can't do that or it's not a look that I like particularly want to do. Um, so to me, I feel like the palette makes sense to her. It's just, it's not anything that blows me away. Like even like packaging wise, I'm not like, ah, like the color, it, it's not something that's making me want to run out and grab it. And you know, there's a lot of still like neutral palettes that come out that I'm like, oh, I need to go get that one. Like the Natasha Denona, I need a nude. Like I have a lot of neutral palettes, but that one came out and I was like, ooh. And you know, this is also a new formula. I'm not sure what it'll be like. Um, and not trying to like, obviously like I, I still, like I said, I still keep up with Carly, but she's the first person I started watching and she's someone that I still watch today and I've really enjoyed her journey. And I'm very excited for her to start an, uh, her own brand and to see where it goes and what it is that she comes out with. The eyeshadow palette just isn't necessarily screaming my name. Now the lip products I would also, like I would be interested in grabbing a lip product, a lip liner and one of the matte lipsticks, maybe even a gloss. Like I might purchase a trio from this. Um, definitely let me know what you were thinking and if you would like to see me try it out. Uh, so the lip products, you know, I've tried her collaborations with, um, I think I've tried her collaborations with everybody, you know, BH Cosmetics, Il Maquillage, uh, Anastasia, and I, I did like the lip products from Il Maquillage. These kind of remind me a little bit of that. <laughs> um, but I mean, I would, I would give them a shot. For sure, for whatever reason, the lip liners and the lipsticks are calling out to me the most. Not necessarily the gloss, which is interesting because I wear gloss a lot, but kind of what I'm thinking there. And then the highlighters, I just don't wear highlighters these days, so that wouldn't be like a good purchase for me. So out of the collection, I'm most interested in the lip products, but of course I would love to know what you think. Did you grab anything from this? I think a lot of people are gonna be excited for Carly to launch her own brand and see what they come up with. You know, Angie and I kind of touched on it too, of like, I'm surprised that she didn't launch something um, earlier, even like a few years earlier, but at the same time, it's also very hard to launch your own brand. And Angie and I both know that, and we've both learned a lot from launching um, our own businesses and everything that goes into it. And especially when you're launching something like these color cosmetics and multiple shades in them, there's a lot that goes into it. It's not something that can happen overnight. It's usually not something that can happen even in a year's time. Um, there's a lot that goes into it behind the scenes. And if this is something that she really wants to do, then I'm excited for it. And I'm excited to, you know, support it and, and all of that. I'm excited because she's someone who I always wondered, why doesn't she have her own brand? So, I'm, I'm curious what she will keep coming out with. Okay, I thought I was recording that whole time and I wasn't, so hopefully I can stitch this together to pick up where I left off. That was that was interesting. Uh, but another eyeshadow palette that I see is from Cosmic Brushes. I know Angie just did a video on this one. This is the Winter Wonderland palette. 20 wonderful cool tone shades inspired by Magical Winter Wonderland, 12 soft mattes, 8 dazzling metallics. Two of the metallics are multi-chromes. As uh, $28 will be available on November 17th. So this one to me, you know, more of those cool tone blues. Blue is just that one shade that I don't really wear a lot for eyeshadow. Um, you know, there are some, obviously there's like there's some purples in here and all of that. I look at it, I don't know, the purples are really pretty, but I just don't think I would get enough use out of it. And I did also just purchase the Xenon palette and that has those very cool tones, um, kind of like that grayscale, black and white type of palette. So if I was looking to do looks, that are kind of more like Winter Wonderland-esque, I can definitely get them from the Xenon palette. So that is going to be one that I'm gonna skip over. And then kind of along the same lines, I see from Pat McGrath, this is a new set, the Dark Star Labs 006 Volume 4. Okay, so it includes the Blitz Sapphire Eyeshadow Blackened Sapphire with Bright Blue Sparkling Pearls. I hope you're writing all this down. And then the Cyber Electric Eye Gloss Translucent with, oh, I can never say this word, Mm, yeah, we'll skip over that. Sparkling pearls. I don't know. I can never say that word. Nope. It's just one of those I can't say. Um, so this should be available now. Again, I just don't really wear blues a lot. So this set does nothing for me. And I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm just not into an eye gloss. I know that there's people who are, but like, I just can't say that I'm like, you know what I really want today? Eye gloss. Now we're talking about the new Jack Harlow song. 
<clears throat> I've had some things I can say that I want today. And then we have from Fenty Beauty. They're coming off some new eyeliners. I think we meant to talk about this in our Will I Buy It together, but we didn't. I feel like there were some eyeliners that we were going to talk about. But this from Fenty Beauty, the Glitty Lid, <laughs> Glitty Lid Shimmer Liquid Eyeliner. Intense color payoff in metallic jewel tones. Long wear, lightweight formula. These are going to be $24 each. I do like to do some wing liner these days, but like a glittery eyeliner, I just can't say that I'm like, again, it's just not something that I feel like is missing in my collection right now. So I think I am fine to, to pass over that one. Uh, and then I see from Kylie Cosmetics, I feel like I, that's like a brand that I don't say those words very often, but Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with five new glow balms and 10 new lip liners. Right now, all I see is coming soon. I haven't tried Kylie Cosmetics in a hot minute. I know that she keeps coming out with some new releases, but nothing that is just like interested me. I know she's also come out with a new clothing line. Has anyone purchased anything from that? Um, I've seen a little bit of that, but again, nothing that I'm like, that's something that I really need to spend my money on. I mean, obviously she looks beautiful and everything because she's super gorgeous and, and all, but just not something I feel like I need to have. Uh, moving over to a few things in PR that I've gotten, and one is so random, but like when I tell you I was so excited when I opened this package. So this is from First Aid Beauty, one of my favorite skincare brands, but this is their Gentle Cleansing Body Bar. Don't come at me, okay? I'm excited about this. Your girl is clean, okay? A gentle, it's like, I, for whatever reason, I'm so excited. So this is a new arrival, fragrance-free bar soap for sensitive skin, I'm all about that. This is $16. It says an elevated shower essential for sensitive skin made with oatmeal that leaves skin soft, smooth, and exceptionally clean. It's a better than basic body cleansing bar, fragrance free, sensitive skin friendly, features relaxing massage bumps, formulated with oatmeal, shea butter, and squalene, some of my favorite ingredients. This soap creates a luxurious lather and gently cleanses without leaving your body feeling dry and stripped. This is going in my shower ASAP. I'm so excited about this. They sent this in a PR package with their uh, like gentle like face cleanser, which I also really enjoy. Like love that cleanser, super excited to have it back. But something about, like listen, I don't know. I'm excited about it. Like you're trying to like get like stocking stuffers for people, boom. You got people with sensitive skin, boom. Here you go. Uh, I just wanted to mention it because I'm very excited about it and I also feel like it's so random, but, but I know this week is quite a shorter week and I just thought that I would include it so we can all know that I get excited over soap together. LYS Beauty just came out with a new brow pencil. So they sent this over in PR. This is the Secure Brow Eyebrow Pencil. This retails for $20 in ultra fine defining, an ultra fine defining eyebrow pencil designed to mimic real brow hairs for a naturally defined look. I do have a get ready with me on my channel where I use this one. Honestly, I've only used it the one time because I will right after I did that get ready with me, I went to Austin for a week and I've only been home for two nights. But uh, I keep doing um, either my Lawless Beauty Brow Pencil, I just picked up another one of these in the Sephora sale. I felt like with the LYS, it's almost like too small for me and too fine that I felt like it was taking a little bit more time. I got the shade, ooh, does it tell me? I got the shade Taupe, which is maybe just like a touch too light for me as well. So I kind of felt, in the get ready with me that my brows didn't necessarily look the most done, but I also got a ton of compliments on my brows in that video. A lot of you said that you really liked the way they looked. So I need to try this again. I need to try this again. I'm actually heading off tonight. Um, I have like a, a media event tonight. So, you know, I try to use makeup that I feel confident in knowing that I'm gonna be like on camera the entire night. But I do want to revisit this one. I wanna revisit it, I wanna be able to try it and give it a solid review. But right now I see it only available on the LYS site. Um, they are also available on Sephora, but I haven't seen the brow pencil pop up yet. But again, I will link it in case you're looking for a new brow pencil. All right, let's talk about a fail because I don't even know what possessed me to try to do this, but I thought I was gonna ruin my entire makeup look. So Kiss sent me over their Falscara, the new way to lash, lash extension effect. I have been seeing things like this all over TikTok, whether it be the one from Kiss or I've seen like some like Amazon brands and all of that, but so many people are doing these type of lashes and they're, they're truly like lash extensions. You put them underneath your lash line and people are saying that they're staying for like days, if not even like a week at a time. I am someone who I've been seriously considering getting lash extensions just to like, I feel like I'm like moving at the speed of light these days and I'm like, if I could just have one thing taken away from me, it would be that. 
but lash extensions also freak me out and I just I and having someone so close to my eye and like the chemical I like I'm just I'm not sure I love the idea. I am also getting ready to go to Ireland for 10 days and I'm like, but would it be nice to have lash extensions? I don't know. I'm, I'm waffling. I can't decide what I want to do. But when I got this, I was like, you know what? We're just going to try it and see if it works. So they sent me like um, individual packs as well. So that's what I used because I thought I could make a video and like open this and show everything, except it didn't work out so well. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. But basically you take this bond. This is the directions. You take the bond side, which kind of looks like a little mascara wand, and you're supposed to, you know, run it through your lashes. And that is supposed to be what secures the lash extensions that you're putting on. So you pick it up with the tweezer, you put it underneath your lashes, like not on your waterline, still on your actual lashes, and it's supposed to bond to the bond that you put on there. So I put the bond on there and I make sure I get, you know, where I'm going to like put the actual lash and then I go to stick the lash on, falls off. And I was like, okay. So I put some more bond on. The directions say use a very small amount. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm like, maybe I took that too seriously. I'm great at following directions. So I put a little bit more on, the lash falls off. I'm like, okay. So at that point, I'm like, I'm just gonna give up, right? Like I'm on a time crunch. I still wanted to film this video. I still have to actually pack my bag. Everything is just laying on my bed right now. I like, I need to pack my bag. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll try it one more time. So I put some more bond on and I like really make sure, like, I'm like, I can see the white on my lashes. So I'm like, I had to have done it, right? The lash stays, oh, perfect. So I go on to the next spot. I get two lashes on and I use the medium length and I was like, I mean, it looked like my lashes were a little bit fuller and darker, but I didn't notice, like to me, they didn't look like lash extensions yet. So maybe I needed to use the long ones, but I was like, we're already two in. You just gotta keep going. I could not get the third one like closer to the inner part of my eye. Like I couldn't get that to stick on for nothing. Like I tried more bond, I was trying everything. I was so frustrated. I was like, it's fine. I'll just leave the two on. It gives like a little more of like a flare to the outer corner, sure. So then you're supposed to take the other side of this, the seal. And then you're supposed to put it over uh, where you applied the lashes and it's supposed to seal it into place and like really keep them on. As I'm putting the seal on, it takes the lashes right off. I was like, wow, that was all for not. <laughs> like, so I just took them off and was like, whatever. And then I, I, for whatever reason, I was like, come back and try to get, have, stop being an Aries. Like have more patience, try again. So I was like, I'll try the other eye and I'll try the long set of lashes to see if I notice more of a difference. I couldn't even get one lash to stick on my eye. I was like, forget it. Has anyone used these? Has anyone used anything like it? I couldn't figure it out. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm not very good with lashes anyways. I, that's just, it's not my forte, but like, wow, that really frustrated me. So those were a no for me. Those do not work out. I'm all riled up again. Cause that took me so much time. I was like, man, I could have already been done filming. Now I'm going to be like running to my Uber. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, all right. So we're going to finish off with some new holiday releases. And if you've made it this far, there's also a giveaway in this video. Oh! So Odin's Eye has come out with their holiday launches. I do have a get ready with me when I was using Angie's makeup bag and I used the Snow Dream palette. So when they released two new palettes and then they also re-released last year's holiday releases. I wonder what my giveaway could be. So first up we have the Snow Dream palette. This one is so beautiful. This is what I used in my get ready with me when I was filming with Angie's makeup and I did the greens and some golds beautiful i love this red in here like i really want to do a red eye look there was a look i did wasn't no it must have been like two no i feel like i was still in iowa maybe it was three christmases ago just matte red all over my eye and i think i did false lashes and i just loved that look like i love wearing red i feel like it is my power color that was a question we had in the get ready with us and something about just red eyeshadow i'm, I'm all about it the lashes are throwing me off, but like I'll use my BK Beauty Risa does makeup lashes. But this palette is so so stunning. And then they also came out with the Hey Reindeer palette. And look at how cute this one. I just feel like the other one is a little bit more my colors, but you can purchase them separately. You can purchase them together. I do have an affiliate code with Odin's Eye, and that is Samantha. 
And then like I said, they also re-released their Christmas palettes last year. These were a big hit. My personal favorite that I use the most is the Merry Christmas palette. And then we also have the Christmas Eve palette. So I thought that I would do a little giveaway. You guys probably know I do a lot of giveaways around holiday time. I was actually packing up a giveaway box today. That will be up on my Instagram, March Beauty Word. If you want to win just a big box of makeup, makeup from me, go check that out. But if you want to win these palettes, you just have to be subscribed over here and leave a comment with the hashtag Sam Squad in your comment. That lets me know that you want to enter to win. That way, if you don't want to enter, you can still just leave any comment on the new makeup releases. If you do want to enter, I'm going to send both palettes to one winner. And then my thought is you can either keep both, which would be great, or maybe you could pass one along and, you know, gift someone to someone in your life. Like, hey, hey, like you got a friend, maybe pass along a palette. It's kind of what I'm thinking with that. Uh, so yes, um, subscribe, comment, and I will send out, I usually choose a winner within like a week or so. And then I will contact you from this verified account. There's a lot of spam accounts when giveaways happen. It's why I don't usually do them anymore because the spam accounts were getting so, so bad. I comment to let you know that you win. It'll come from me, my verified account, not WhatsApp, not Telegram, not Snapchat, not anything else. Uh, and I'm excited for one of you to win, but that is it. I feel like we didn't have a ton of new makeup releases this week, but I would still love to hear your thoughts on everything. Make sure to enter if you want to win the Odin size palettes and I'll see you in my next one.